Hello students, welcome again to my channel. My name is Mr. Mesha Kingigi and welcome to eMaths with Mesha Kingigi as we learn um, mathematical concepts. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, kindly do so. Uh, share and also comment on how these lessons are being helpful to you. Now, let's check a question on statistics, uh, which we are supposed to be getting the values, the missing values and the frequencies, when in this case now you have been given the what? You have been given uh, the mode, right? So if you have not checked the question that you have done, uh, where you have, you have been given the median, kindly uh, check it, the playlists um, given in uh, statistics, okay? Now, again, we need one thing, we need a CF. So our CF is the cumulative frequencies going downwards. And we know the total should be what? Should be 50. So again, here we shall have 15, 15 plus A, 15 plus 30, 45 plus A, then you have um, 45 plus 20, that gives us 65 plus A, then we have 65 plus A plus B, okay? Then we need to get the model class, and the model class is the class with the highest frequency. So since we don't know the value of A and we don't know the value of B, then we choose the class that has the highest frequency in our distribution. And in our case, this will be the class. Okay? So we shall work with the class of 40 to 60 as our model class. And what is the formula of the mode? Mode is given by mode will be given by L plus into bracket Fm minus F1 over 2Fm minus F1 minus F2, then multiply by the multiply by the interval, okay? So we need to identify uh, the values, so we have our L, our L in this case will be 40, because this one is an inclusive data. The lower and the, the upper and the lower are the same. But in any case, you're not sure, again, just take the average of the upper and the lower. Take the average, 40 plus 40 divided by 2, we just give you 40, all right, together. Either the data is inclusive or exclusive. So our L will be 40 in this case. Our FM, our FM, now we shall use these three frequencies, the first, the second, the third. So our FM is the frequency of the model class, which is what? 30. Uh, then we go to our F1, our F1 is the frequency of the class above. The class above, the frequency is what? A. F2 is the frequency below. So F1. Fm F2, okay? Yes. So our F2 is 20. Then what is missing? The interval. The interval will be given by. So if subtract any of the two values. This minus this just gives you 20. So you have all everything that we need, and you have the value of the mode being given by that. So therefore, by equating that, so you have 40 plus Fm is 30. Minus F1, or F1 is A, over, then 2FM, 2FM, twice of FM, which is what? 60, minus F1, A, uh, minus F2, minus 20. So then the interval is what? Interval is 20. That one should give us what? Should give us 50. So we are saying we are going to solve this particular equation and this equation now will give us our value. So you can see here the value missing is only A, so which can be evaluated. So again we have 40 plus, so the numerator remains the same, A, 60 minus 20 gives us 40, so 40 minus A into bracket 20 equals to, equals to 50. Take the constant to this other side, so uh, 40 you take it to this other side. So we shall remain with 30 minus a, 40 minus a uh, into bracket 20 equals to, uh, when you take 40 to the right hand side, it becomes 50 minus 40, which gives us what? Gives us, gives us 10. Then remove the 20, this side, so multiply by 1 over 20 on this other side, or on the left hand side, and also on the right hand side. We want to remove this uh, uh, the 20 which is uh, multiplied with that number so we shall have 30 
30 minus A over 40 minus A will give us what? So this goes with that, which is a half, which is 0 0.5. Then cross multiply your value so that you remove the value in the denominator. So you shall have 30 minus A equals to 0 0.5 into bracket 40 minus A. Okay, so we have that. Then open this bracket, we shall have 30 minus A equals to 0 0.5 times 40, that is the same as half times 40, which gives us 20. Then minus 0 0.5 A. Okay, so this multiply by that, this multiply by this. Then to take the constant to this other side, like this to this other side, so we have 30 minus 20, okay, equals to negative 0 0.5 A. Then this comes to this other side, it comes plus A. So we have 30 minus 20 gives us 10, equals to, okay, equals to negative 0 0.5 plus 1. Negative 0 0.5 plus 1, that gives me a half by the end of the day. Okay, so it is 0 0.5a, 0 0.5a. Then from that point, divide both sides by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5, so you get 5a, so 0 0.5 over 0 0.5. So therefore your a value, 10 divided by 0 0.5, that gives you 20. Therefore, we now check how to find the value of b, and the value of b shall uh, be found by the relative frequencies here. Uh, accumulated frequency. We know one thing that we have, we have been given that the daily expenditure of how many students? 100 students. So therefore, our cumulative frequency in total should give us 100. Okay? So therefore, 65, uh, 65 plus A plus B should give you 100. But you already have the value of what? The value of A. So it is 65 plus 20 plus B equals to 100. So 65 plus 20, that gives you 85 plus B equals to 100. Therefore, take 85 to the other side, and you get it to be 100 minus 85, and you have a B, you'll be given by what? You'll be given by 15. So that is how you find your missing values when you are given the what? When you are given the mode. Are we together? So your A value will be 20, your B value will be 15. You can always replace the values here to see that if it gives you 100. So if you take 15 plus A is 20 plus 30 plus 20 plus 15, the answer here in total gives you what? Gives you 100. And that is it for statistics. We are given uh, such a question. So see you in the next class. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, share, and also comment.